Now, so in this video, I just want to talk about this. We're going to be adjusting magnetic variation over time. Now, in a previous video, you'll remember that I talked about North Pole, geographic North Pole being here at the stalk of your apple. And then I said, but actually, there's another thing called magnetic North Pole, and it's just off to the side a little bit, just down a little bit and just off to the side. Uh, and there was our spot right there. Okay, so we've got that idea. Now, I was telling you the truth, but there's one extra little bit. Not only is the magnetic North Pole not on the stalk, but it's actually moving. It's changing over time. Over the course of years and decades, it is slightly shifting. Moving, 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 moving. Uh, so it won't be there next year. It'll be in a different place. It, sorry, it won't be there next year. It'll be in a different place. It won't. It'll it'll keep moving. All right. So there's our basic idea here. Magnetic north moves. So when you write a map, that map has to change. Like you have to tell people that that's changing, and you have to tell them what the magnetic variation is today, and then you need to tell them what the magnetic variation will be in the future. So that tends to look something like this. Uh, now printed on a map will be this little, what we call a compass rose. And you can see here that it gives you a couple of things. Well, oh, better finish this video quick. It gives you a couple of things. It gives you um, true north, that is the north pole, the stalk of the apple. And it also gives you magnetic north. And you can see that if you were in the particular place where this map was, then your compass would point in this direction, whereas north was actually in this direction. Now, the only thing I want to talk about today uh, is this bit here, the bit where it says mean variation decreasing um, one minute annually. Okay, so they've given us a lot of information here. Now, what they've said is that the Variation at the moment is 11 degrees 18 minutes uh, to the east. Okay, you can see it's varying to the east. So it's 11 degrees 8 minutes east, and that was in the year 2000. And it's decreasing by one minute annually. Now I'm going to write all of that down 18 minutes in the year 2000, and it's decreasing. You're going to have to believe me here that I'm writing this down one minute annually. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so it's 11 degrees, 18 minutes in the year 2000. It's decreasing by one minute annually. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, if we're using this map in the year 2016, then if it's decreasing one annually, that means it's decreased... by, well, 2016 minus 2000, that's 16, by, by 16 times 1 minute. Now, this one's an easy one because it's just decreasing by 1 minute annually, 16 years. So it's decreased by 16 minutes. So that means that the magnetic variation in 2016 for this particular map is equal to 11 degrees, 18 minutes, minus, because it's decreasing, it's getting closer to north, minus 16 minutes. Now, 11 degrees, 18 minutes, minus 16 minutes, that's going to be 11 degrees and 2 minutes. That's all I want to cover in this video. Over time, magnetic variation changes. On a map, you have to print it. That's going to look something like this. When you print that, you've got a bunch of information. Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? When was, it, when was the map printed and what was the variation at that time? And how much is it changing by each year? And then you can do some maths and then you can figure out what the magnetic variation is today. All right, that's it.